All right, let's take a look at this question, which involves angle bisectors, and these are always great fun. An angle bisector is going to be some ray that has the property that it cuts this angle into two angles, each of which have the same measure. So check it out. I'm told that the ray ZY, which is this ray right here, bisects the angle XZW, XZW. So that means that the measure of this angle right here is going to be the same as the measure of that angle right there. That's what it means to be an angle bisector. Okay, and then we're given all this algebraic information that somehow I want to make good use of. So let's think about exactly what is being said in the rest of these statements. The first is that the measure of angle X, Z, Y, so that measure of that angle turns out to be 7x plus 1 degrees. Now notice we don't know what x is. That's an unknown right now, but let's not get scared by it. We just understand that that represents that angle. We're also told that the measure of angle y, z, w, so that angle right there has measure 5x plus 11 degrees. Again, there's that same x, but let's not worry. The question is, what is the measure of angle x, z, w? Well, I need a relationship that's going to bring the x's together in one equation. What do I know? I know that the ray z, y is an angle bisector. That means that the measure of this angle equals the measure of that angle. Or in particular, this quantity equals that quantity. And so we're led to an algebraic equation. 7x plus 1 equals 5x plus 11. That's now a connection that's going to allow me to use algebra to actually resolve this and find x. So let's try to do that. The first thing I want to do is try to get all the x together onto one side so I have x equals. So I'm going to subtract 5x from the right, which forces me to subtract 5x from the left to keep everything perfectly balanced. And when I do that, here I have 7x's minus 5x's, so I just have 2x's left over. I still have that plus 1. I haven't done anything with that. And that will equal 5x minus 5x is 0, but I still have that 11. Now that 1 is sort of pesty, so let me actually subtract 1 from both sides, keeping everything now completely balanced and nice still. But now I see on this side 2x, 1 minus 1 is 0, equals 10. Well, now if I undo the multiplication of x by dividing both sides by 2, then I see that x has to equal 5. Now, at this point, you might say, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Whew, we got the answer. x equals 5. But it turns out that didn't answer the actual question that our friend posed. Because the actual question was, find the measure of angle x, z, w. All we found was the variable little x. That's 5. So how do I find this angle? Well, first I can plug it back into one of these expressions to find out what one of these measures is. So let's actually plug it in and find the measure of angle x, z, y. I'd plug in 5 for x here, and I'd see that that angle has measure 7 times 5 plus 1, or 36 degrees. And so what do I do now? I know that this ray was the angle bisector. So if this is 36 degrees, then this angle is 36 degrees. Therefore, the entire angle is going to be 36 degrees plus 36 degrees, or 72 degrees. That equals the measure of angle x, z, w. So if you know something about an angle bisector, that gives you lots of information, which quite often can lead to an algebraic equation, which can then resolve in finding exactly what you want, in this case, sweeping out the measure of that big angle. Congratulations, and I'll see you soon.